Okay, one last quick video related to this um, tool here and something that I just found, there is an explain math and table feature here. So you can select this, drag the cursor over an area containing formulas, equations or tables. And this is what I would like to do. And once again, I will go um, for this question here. What is the what is the length of the transmission line? And let's see what we get. As an explanation of this formula here, uh, which is a very, very simple one. It's just uh, Pythagoras theorem, um, difference of the X and Y coordinate, each squared square root of this. Um, let's break it down. What is the formula? Okay, it repeats the formula. It is the distance between two points. Okay, coordinates. What straight line distance? Okay, okay. Breaking down the formula, squaring the difference. Okay, it explains us how to calculate this formula. Taking the square root, example calculation. Okay, if we have seven and three and one and four, okay, then we get 25 and the distance will be five, five units. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why it does not mention that this is the um, Pythagoras theorem. Um, because um, I mean, this is what it is. Pythagorean theorem. Um, it's just this written in a different way. So um, once again, I would say um, uh, this is also not super helpful. Um, maybe we can ask it <laughs> a more different, d difficult question. Um, let's go for let's go for this one here. Um, this is one of the BAT equations, or this is maybe, let's say, the BAT equation, the BAT equation that is used to calculate the current um, at the terminus of a transmission line. The ZZ in this case is the characteristic impedance. Okay, the relationship between currents in the transmission line system. Okay, terminal currents, that is characteristic impedance. Or our reflection coefficients, propagation constant, time and length. There's no time in this question, uh, in this equation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, why, why time? I mean, there's no time in this equation. Breaking down the matrix. The first matrix adjusts the input thickness based on how much of the signal is reflected back. The second matrix is the inverse of another matrix <laughs> that essentially undoes the effect of the origin. Hmm. Sickness propagate and reflect in a system. Okay, so um, the first matrix, it's, it's not too wrong, but also not too right. This accounts for the reflections at the terminus. This includes the propagation along the line and especially accounts for the transmission line resonances. And here something happens um, that obviously the latex code here is not properly passed. The entire equation kick. And so the second matrix here, yeah, but what is with the third thing here, the vector? Um, this is also important. Don't forget this one here. Putting it all together, Incoming signals are modified by the properties of the transmission line. <laughs> okay, maybe, but it's not really incoming signals. What are incoming signals? It's about the external field, the incident field that couples into the transmission line. And then there's some analogon with a string. <sighs> this is not 
helpful at all, I would say, because it's just the wrong model to compare with. And then this equation is a powerful tool in electric engineering. Yeah, maybe how signals travel through transmission lines. Um, Naja, it, I, I'm, I'm also not super satisfied with this answer um, because it, for, it forgot about the last term and this is also not super correct. And I mean, um, from my point of view, there's a much nicer explanation given here. Yeah? The first term determines whether currents or voltages are calculated due to this different reflection coefficients. The second matrix calculates transmissional resonances. The last vector contains source terms. So I would rather, hey students, um, if you want to use SciSpace or any other AI-based research helper tool, yeah, which is advertised as the fastest research platform ever, um, I would say you're probably faster if you just read the paper you are interested in because hmm, if so these answers here the answers that you get they are rather rather lengthy and they they may be bullshitting so it's um, you you need to read much more stuff of course you can ask and interact and ask back and so on and so on But uh, the answers that you get are partially wrong, partially not really helpful. Um, they must not be correct. And it's much, much longer, takes much more time than if you would just read the paper. So even with this explain math and table feature thing, I would say it's also not so super helpful at all.